Welcome to another Steam Deck news and we have two awesome features being added to Steam Deck right now as well as a bunch of improvements. So let's have a quick look at some of the improvements here before we dive into a couple of the updates. So first of all on the general front we have an update when connected to an external display the Steam Deck interface is now scaled to virtual 1280 x 800. Now more work is underway on this but what this actually means is a little bit mysterious as when I connect it to an external display I don't see any difference right now so I'm not quite sure what they are going to be showing here but hopefully we get more info as this gets more updates. Also which is a bit mysterious the Steam hardware survey functionality has been added I'm guessing this is going to be similar to the is the verification performance matching up to the verified status type questionnaires so it'll be interesting to see when this starts popping up. They've fixed an issue with multiple new Steam inventory items notifications and users showing up as favourites when they're no longer friends. They've also fixed issues with various dialogues laying out incorrectly when the Steam keyboard's visible and fixed an issue with the on-screen keyboard and magnifier interstitials not taking input on the first launch of some games. So that's the general fixes now on to one of the big ones. Per performance game profiles have now been added. This is absolutely awesome and makes life so much easier if you do want to tweak those settings per game. The desktop it goes back to my default system settings but when I'm in the game it just applies the performance profile I've set. Now I am in the beta track so I do have the refresh rate toggle here as well which really helps with that refresh rate time and performance as well and I can't wait for this to hit the mainstream. On to the online offline updates they've improved performance when switching from offline to online mode sometimes it did get a bit stuck so hopefully this will help with those issues. They've improved the availability of home screen sections when switching from offline to online as well, as well as fixing friends continuing to show as online even when you've switched to offline mode. Now some nice keyboard enhancements also this time around, we've added Bulgarian phonetic traditional and phonetic keyboard layouts, they've corrected the interaction between caps lock and shift if that annoyed you. The keyboard now shows Alt GR symbol hints when the Alt GR is not active. The keyboard only shows Alt GR symbols when the Alt GR is active. And non ASCII characters now work in desktop mode, as well as fixing the double R key on the Russian keyboard and remove the R key from the Ukrainian keyboard. Another nice little tweak here is they've removed the rumble and haptics toggles from the quick access menu. They've moved back to the settings controller settings page so that it frees up a little bit more space in that quick access menu. And they've moved the reorder controllers button to the other section in the quick access menu. Now the other nice update here if you have been remote playing, although this does not work for me at the moment, they said they've added a stop streaming option to the power menu when hosting a remote play session. This does not show up in my menu, so I'm wondering if this is actually when you are remote playing off of your Steam Deck from a PC for example, not remote playing a PC on your Steam Deck. And lastly, recently played games that are streamed now show in the recently played games section. Let us know in the comments below if these updates are useful to you. The per game profiles is definitely something I'm going to be using. Thanks for watching, don't forget to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with everything Steam Deck and we will see you next time.